Well, if we go back to how the whole thing started with the Federal Republic, and I think it helps to understand this narrative that brought us to where we are right now, then it was clear for West Germany that war is not an option and Germany should become a civic power to focus on what it can do best, like the land of ideas, create products and have a solid industrial base and make change possible and create peace by economic interaction. And the framework to do this was European integration to start a project with like-minded. And if you engage and if you become interdependent with your neighbors, then it's in your best interest to care about your neighbors and don't fight in an open clash of interests to get your short-term benefits. And instead, you create something bigger, which became the European community, which today is the European Union. So this idea of change through economic interdependence is not just a lip service or an expression of naivete, but it is something that works perfectly fine. And in the end, the European Union even got a Nobel Prize for Peace for the members stop killing each other. Right. That was basically the award and not it makes the world a better place. But this idea of multilateralism, which it is in practice, what the European Union is doing on a daily basis, allows member states to be perfectly member states and national interest driven, but they manage to deal with the clashes of interests in a civilized way by taking complex issues to an institutional setting, cut it in small portions and digest it in an institutional procedure. And this is something that allows everyone to stay happily German, Polish, French, whatever, but we get compromises in this compromise finding machinery that worked so well that Germany got rich and could stay civic and didn't need to worry about the world because America was protecting Germany. Russia was importing as the most reliable energy supplier energy until it wasn't. And China happily being the investor that buys German companies and German companies invest in China and get so rich that they even buffer complicated times like COVID or the financial crisis because the demand in China is strong enough to support and stabilize the German economy. So this idea of multilateralism works and makes Germany rich, and we don't have to think about strategic positions or geopolitics, was not just a lifeline as it appears since the 24th of February last year when the war in Ukraine started and suddenly everything needs to be rediscussed, but it was the practical choice of Germany since World War II to become this export-based economy that gets rich and can start making deals with the rest of the world or donate money as one of the largest donators for humanitarian assistance and create something like a positive image, a self-perception that we are the good guys and we are not involved in complicated issues given the history where Germany comes from.